Hello everybody and after the disappointment of last episode we're straight in with the playoffs and yes we've got drawn against Wigan so let's dive straight into it for the FM23 Geisley Youth Academy only save and are we going to go up to the championship via the playoffs we've got to beat Wigan first. So yes first leg is away we are going to what I assume is still the DW Stadium playing Wigan and we're going to see how we get on and do you know what I've done this time I've thought we are going back to what has worked for most of the season. 4-2-3-1, flying wing backs, flying inside forwards, counter, counter press. None of this changing our mentality to suit what they do. We are going to try and win this game by being Geisley and playing how we have got to this point so far. They're going to be lining up in 4-2-3-1 as well. They're going to try and control possession, so hopefully we can close them down um, and win it back and get a good result. It's not looking massively in our favour. Uh, previous meetings, we've had one win. They have had four wins. So I, I'm not expecting us to get through in this game. It's been an outstanding season, finishing fourth, getting up to second. You know, it's a good building block for next year, although I think the squad is going to be dramatically different next year to what it has been this year. But hopefully fresh energy, fresh youngsters, rejuvenates the team for another playoff or promotion attack as well. So... We can't really hang around because if we do do well, there'll be all the playoff games in this episode, potentially. We'll see how it goes. But um, it's Wigan v Geisley in the first semi-final first leg uh, and QPR are playing Oxford in the other playoff as well. So let's get into this first leg and see how we get on. So we're lining up with Lloyd. Kaminsky gets a start at the back. Priestnell, Jones and Whittam. Fear and Salt, Bertrand, Stitt, Curran and all press is caught a sort of back from his injury he's still a little bit unfit but he's good enough to start this one um, in a 4-2-3-1 they're lining up with lots of people I don't know they've got Ben Salah in midfield Mohamed Ben Salah who is very good but um, look look we need to I don't know cause an upset yeah go and cause an upset we're the underdogs we've done very well to be in this position throughout the league the season has been great come on Come on! Right, it is the DW Stadium. There's Wigan in a 4-2-3-1. Patterson, Gelmer, Bergson, Roland Stott, Stansfield, Hurst, Sanuzai, and some other people. Um, yeah, on the bench, we've got a very attacking. Two strikers, wingers, uh, attacking fullbacks, and uh, one centre-back and a goalkeeper. So we've gone very attacking for this away game. I'm hoping we can pick something up in this game and make it work. Like, generally, against other 4-2-3-1s, we've... we've generally been pretty good i'm just going to drop us down to balance we're still going to play attacking like in our system but i'm just worried again we we start we start at the moment we're starting games really slowly i don't know if it's like a long the long season is catching up with us and things like that but you can see we oh, yeah, we created something we didn't get a highlight but we have created uh, an opportunity i'm just sort of thinking do we do we go back to trying to play for set pieces and corners and get our height up there for some headers but here is a Ben Salah Kaminsky robs him well Stitt puts it forward all press picks it up all press down the line to Jimmy Curran Jimmy Curran can you put the cross in he does Stitt's there oh he's hit the bar Stitt has hit the bar it's the first highlight of the game and it went to us and I will take that for sure yes we've not been playing around 24 percent possession we've had which is dreadful look uh passing has been a bit too sloppy but then what we'll do is we'll go in and just say, look, keep a higher tempo. Just keep our standard. Don't have to go as direct as as quickly, basically. And see how we get on and see if we can create things in this second half. Right, Salt with a free kick. Swings it in. Priestnell! Oh! It's hit the roof of the net. It has hit the roof of the net. I sort of think we do have to tick that again. I feel like play for set pieces is crucial. For how we play. And I've spent time setting them all up. So we might as well. We had a throw in there. And just threw it straight to their winger. Which is terrible. They've hit the roof of the net. An hour gone. An hour gone. And we are. We're doing alright. We're, we're doing alright. Whittam. Fearon. Jones. Bertrand. Back to. The, this is this is a bit better passing. Salt tried to go long in towards uh, Stitt there. But not ideal. Rollins. Stansfield. Roland's on it again. Hurst Wigan with a bit of possession. Ben Salah in a bit of space. Kaminsky lost his position there, and it's resulted in a goal. Garden assemble. I don't know how Priestnell hasn't cleared that. He was there first. He sort of just let the ball hit his feet, and um, and then their striker ran in and put it in. It's a good run from Ben Sal Ben Salah or Ben Salah, 
And then, yeah, I'm not too sure why Priestnell hasn't just volleyed that away, but um, it is what it is. We'll go back to positive, try and get something out of this game. Let's make some subs. It's not too long to go in this first leg, so yeah, Lewis Salt not playing very well at all. I think we go. Pop, let's just go for it. Let's just let's just absolutely go for this. We're gonna go four one. What four one four one, but in a very attacking system. Like that. Stitt's gonna come off. He's not having a good game either. He'll be replaced by Stephen Harris on that right hand side. Um we just want to overload their defence. Max Whittam at left back not playing well. But we don't... Oh, yeah. Dominic Johnson can come on. He's tall. He can go back there. We're going to drop to balance just because we've got so many people up front anyway. Uh, I sort of feel like counter-pressing is going to be a little bit... Ugh. But let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We just need something to get us back in this game. And uh, at the moment, it's not really coming. Five minutes to go. I don't know what other changes we can make. All press not having a good game. Let's get Tar on or Tear. Um, pressing forward on attack, maybe. Let's get a few more numbers forward. It is only the first leg, so it's not dreadful. Okay, another highlight. And that's a good bit of pressing there from Jimmy Curran. Jimmy Curran. Jimmy Curran. Square the ball. Square the ball. You've got Jordan Tar in the middle or Tear. Thorpe. Down to Jimmy Curran. Curran. What? I'm sorry, what sort of mental highlight is that? In the 95th minute of a game, why would our winger turn around and go back to the goalkeeper? What on earth is that, football manager? That is one of the stupidest highlights I've ever seen. Ever. Since I've been playing football manager. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Talk about fix and not wanting us to go up. Absolutely ridiculous. Look, wasn't to be. Proud of the efforts. We'll do it at home. Unbelievable. What was that? What was that? Absolutely ludicrous, that. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, they probably deserved it, but that highlight at the end... Honestly, I thought it was going to be us with Jimmy Curran attacking down the left, but no. Right, we'll be back for the second leg. Okay, we're back for the second leg. 2-0 down, so we're going attack, 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 attack. Support, anchor, so he sits in front of the back four, whilst Whittam and Johnson have free reign to push up as well. Dave Mills is back from injury, but not fit enough to play. Um, Hurtley is not fully fit to play, so another defender that's missing out. And we have the other left back, whose name escapes me right now, if I take unavailable off. Um... Where is he gone? Stuart Faulkner, who would be playing left back, is uh, suspended. So he was suspended for the first leg, if you're wondering where he was. But yes, 4-2-3-1. I mean, I could go 4-4-2 and go attacking, but I feel like that's suicide at the moment. So we're going to go into this one. Come on, I just want a good performance and no stupid highlights. I'm still very angry at that Jimmy Curran highlight from the first leg. Um, I just can't believe it. I, honestly, I couldn't believe it. Uh, point the finger. We need to improve on the last performance to get to the final. Like, easy. Come on. Attackers, point the finger. Look. I have faith. Get out there. Go and get me some results. Send the assistant to that. No time for press conferences when we're 2-0 down. 4-2-3-1. We know it. We love it. We've been utilising it for 14 seasons, basically. I think the first season we actually played a weird 4... Maybe 5 at the back? 4-1-4-1? Four, one, four, one. I, I can't remember what we played, but... Yeah, we had Jake Cassidy scoring loads of goals. That seems like so long ago. But, um, right, Wigan. Come to Geisley. Basically to Leeds. It's North v. North. Wigan v. Leeds. Uh, Wigan v. Geisley. But uh, we need to make something happen here. Right, we've had the first chance. It wasn't a highlight, but we've had the first chance. We've had the second chance. They've had a chance. Come on. I sort of feel like, do we need to go and press? We're... we're, we're Creating more than we did in the first that first game. Start into Ben Salah, Hurst. Back to Roland, Stansfield, over the top. Ben Salah's in, and obviously they've scored, even though we've started the game quite well. Oh, this is frustrating. This game is so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Come on, guys, Lee. Come on. Lloyd. 
goes long. Fearon heads it down to Johnson. Looking long again. We, I think next season we need to work on a system that allows us to keep the ball a bit better. I feel like we're so... We, but this is the thing. We can then create chances like this and Fearon absolutely balloons it wide. The problem is I want to keep the ball more, but we get so many opportunities by playing longer direct passes with our more advanced players. We're going to have to do something stupid in this second half. We need four goals. Hurst, we need five goals. We need five goals. I don't think we deserve to be 2-0 down over a game and a half of football against Wigan. Whittam, Fearon, tries to put it in, headed away. Bertrand from range, it's never going to go in from there. Hanif, needs to do better. Half-time, half-time. I want a much better display in the second half. We need to get more, more attacking players on. Let's just get more attacking. Let's get them all on. Um, uh, I mean, I want to keep Bertrand in the game, really. I mean, uh, Whittam's yellow carded on a 6.5. Let's try something drastic. Jimmy Curran on. We're going to go Curran out here. No, Thorpe out there. Let's go winger on a... T Wait, it wants to be a winger on support now, Thorpe. All right, we'll go for that. Stick winger, inverted winger. On support. Curran. Two shadow strikers running up with there. And then we're going to go three at the back. And we're going to go Johnson. Wide centre back on support. Priestnell. Can't do a wide centre back on support. Central defender on defend. Salt sitting in front. Bertrand getting the ball. I feel like we have to go to balanced because this is just mental. This, this system's ridiculous. That's what we're going with. We need goals, right? We need goals. So let's shove people up the pitch. See what happens. I assume we're going to get countered. I assume we're going to struggle. But uh, there is Priestnell on the ball. Into Johnson. Jones. Johnson. Out towards Thorpe. Back to Jones. Up towards Fear. And I mean, there's a lot of space out there for Stitt. Maybe maybe we've got something here. Stitt into Curran. Curran! 2-1. 4-1. Five minutes into the second half. Come on. Three more goals. Four more if we want to win it. Stitt held it up. Great run from Jimmy Curran, the shadow striker coming on there. Lovely finish. Lovely, lovely finish. I mean, there were shouts early on in this series to do a three at the back formation. Maybe. I mean, maybe it's possible. Ball in. Good save from Patterson to claim that one. Who was uh, challenging with header? It was all press challenging for the header. So it might have messed up some of our set pieces. Stitt's in space. All presses in the middle. Stitt cuts it back. Curran is 4-2. It's 4-2 and we've played 15 minutes in the second half. Fearing up to Stitt. Stitt bought it back. Cut it back. A lovely holding, like holding position from Curran on the edge of the box and just tucks it home. Okay. Okay. Surely we can't do this. Surely we cannot. I mean, it's back to 2-2, which is already unbelievable. Priest not off. Kaminsky on. He's going to come in here. He probably can be a wide centre-back. Uh, let's go wide centre-back on defend, just so that he does drift wide a little bit. Taron Allpress up front having a good game. Jordan Tear, I feel like you are the man for the moment, I feel. We've got someone on a 6.2. Johnson on a 6.2, but we've used all our defending options up. So, Stitt cuts it back across. Here's Ben Salah, who's very quiet in himself. Salt intercepts well. Stitt. Stitt squares it. Tar! He's hit the post. Oh my word, that would have really made it squeaky bum time. This, we could have stumbled on a magnificent formation here, by the way. I just don't, this is just going all out in the second half. Dominic Johnson off for Harry Jordan. We're going to put Jones on the left, Kaminsky into the middle, Jordan uh, wide centre back on support. Cameron Thorpe on the left isn't doing brilliantly, so we're going to go Rocco Trinari on. Stitt over here, winger on support, Trenary winger on support, the youngster number 42, we've used so many players this season, does Tear have pace? No, not really, he's got good finishing, his off the ball isn't good either, he wants to be a pressing forward on defend, but we haven't got time for defensive pressing forwards at the moment, do we go positive, we go positive, we go positive. Ten minutes to go. 
They've got a free kick. Ben Salah, and it's a penalty. Ugh. It was Kaminsky that gave it away. He's moved into the centre, and uh, Semple's put it put it past the goalkeeper. That's probably game over. We'll give him... I well, can't give him any encouragement because I've just said it. Don't want to see a penalty again. It was a wonderful fight back when we tried. Definitely got us back into the game. Um, Jordan into Kaminsky. Looks up towards Ter. Stitt will pick the loose ball up. Stitt back to Salt. Up to Trinari. Trinari, he's offside, I think, for the hat-trick. I think he's offside. It is. This system, chucking men forward, definitely appears to be working. So he's so far offside. But uh, the playoff run is over. It's unfortunate. It was a great game. 3-2, 5-2 on aggregate. We're going to have another season in uh, in League One. Look, you did yourself proud. They're not happy, but I think they did themselves proud. But maybe if we... Uh, well, we always seem to be having a dearth of fullbacks. So maybe three at the back is better. Maybe. But anyway, we lose in the playoff final. Uh, play, play, I wish it was the playoff final in the playoffs. But a much better game from us. Although we did give up a lot of possession again. Um, defeat in the EFL League 1. Two assists there for Shane Stitt. He really upped his game in the second half. So we'll give him a bit of praise. Oh, that's annoying. Another season in League 1 is what is beckoning for Geisley. Right, we'll go and do the off-season. And uh, we'll be back. Yeah, another season in this... Pesky, pesky league. Well, there's only, it'll only be our third season, so it's not too bad. And Bolton and Doncaster won't be here. Bolton were ridiculously good for this league. I hope QPR, in fact, either QPR or Wigan going up, because QPR beat Oxford. One of those two going up is good. Get them out of the league as well. Who is coming down from the championship? That is what we, uh, that is what we need to know. Nottingham Forest, that's going to be really difficult. They should go straight back up. Barnsley, that'll be difficult. Wickham, yeah, I mean... Wickham are an interesting team to come down. They're probably going to be pretty decent. But, uh, yeah, we'll be back in the uh, in the off-season. No, we won't. We'll be back at the beginning of next season. Wow, I've got to do, go and do all the summer now. Let's see how many of these players leave. Who doesn't want a new contract? What's going to happen with the finances? 1.7 million in debt. We do need something to happen. Uh, we'll get some solidarity payments and stuff as part of uh, the League One being in League One, which will help. But, um, yeah, we really need some investors to come in and potentially do something with the club we'll keep an eye on that let's just have a quick look see if he's changed enjoying life at the club so hopefully he sells to a big money benefactor i mean if he sells now and make a huge amount of profit because it's worth a lot of money this club now it's worth 5.75 million so he could sell that for a lot of money and keep the profits himself anyway thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next one Let's see what the squad looks like in Season 15 of the Youth Academy Geisley save. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.